Hi, are you Dan? Yes, you must be Sophie. Uh, yeah, nice to finally meet you. I've waited for this day for the longest time. Well, 23 years, right? Please. Nice park? It is, isn't it? Have you been waiting here long? No, not really. So, tell me about your life. I'm a psychology major at Berkeley in my fourth year. I'm part of a sorority, and I have a cute boyfriend named Tom. Berkeley? That's where I met your mother. Yeah, I know. I was majoring in medieval studies, and she was majoring in sociology. <laughs> How in the world did we ever end up together? She said it was some social mixer. Oh, that's right. Meeting of the Minds Club or something like that. I saw her and clumsily introduced myself. And she was sweet. We actually hit it off. How is she, by the way? She has breast cancer. Oh, Sophie, I'm so sorry. Look, if it were up to me, I wouldn't be here. You weren't there for me when I was growing up. It was just me and my mom. And we did fine without you, but since she's been sick, she's been doing some soul searching, wanting to make peace with herself. And I guess she decided it was time for us to finally meet. So, here we are. What would you like to know? Tell me what happened between the two of you. Are you sure? I need to hear it before we can go any further with this. Okay. Your mother and I were young in love and nothing else mattered. And we moved in together after dating for only a few months. Things were going pretty good for a while. But then came the head games. She told me that I gave her the passion that her ex couldn't. However, she felt that he could be a better pro provider than I was, whatever that meant. Anyway, she kept in contact with him even after I asked her not to. My friends told me to get out, but I didn't listen. I guess I just wanted to be with her. So I decided to stick around. But after almost a year of the craziness, I couldn't take it anymore and I moved out. Why would you do that? What about me? I didn't even know your mother was pregnant when we broke up. And then nine months later, she sends me a photo of you. Surprise! And I wanted to see you so bad, but your mother wouldn't allow it. So what does she do? She gets a restraining order against me. And if that wasn't enough, she continued to send me photos of you as you grew, with notes saying, this is your daughter that you'll never be able to see, hold, or love. I couldn't write back. I couldn't call you. No contact. That's ridiculous. Why, what did she tell you? She told me you abandoned us when you found out she was pregnant. So you got on your Harley and rode off into the sunset. You couldn't be tied down by a family. She said she tried to contact you, but you couldn't be bothered. Oh man, that is so like her. My mom would never lie about something like that. Oh, she would, Sophie. Oh, so I'm supposed to believe you over my mom? The woman who raised me? With her, it's complicated. And you know what? She was the one who decided it was time for me to find you. She could have said, screw that guy. I don't want him anywhere near my daughter. But she didn't. She see, she does care. Sophie, there's three sides to the story. There's hers, mine, and the truth. What's that supposed to mean? It means she gave you her side, I gave you mine, and now you decide. I, you know what? I'm done. This was a huge mistake. Sophie, wait.
What is going on? Listen, I've wanted to meet you for so long, but I was hoping it would never be like this. What are you saying? What is happening? Sophie, you're in heaven. What? We both are. You're in heaven. This? This is heaven? Yes. You are something. First you tell me these lies about my mom, and now you're telling me we're both here in heaven? What kind of sick mind then do you- how come you can't get out of the park? How come you keep coming back to the same fork in the road? Or even how you suddenly ended up in this field? No, no, you have to take me back to my car. Sophie, there is no car. There's no parking lot. You're here, in heaven. So that means... I'm dead? Yes. Hey, come on. Why didn't you tell me before? I was going to, but I didn't want to just spring it on you. But how? How did I die? What do you remember? I was driving. It was dark. Lots of rain. And, and, and there was a truck. I'm so sorry, Sophie. My mom. What's going to happen to her? She'll be fine. And we'll be waiting on her. Really? Yes. This is just so much to take in. Don't worry. I may not have been there for you before, but I'm here for you now. And always. So, what now? Want to see the rest of this place? Yes, Dad. <laughs>